so hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to build a blog website and we will do it as fast as we can okay in this website we will have a admin panel along with a ui where we can view the blocks that we have added with the search functionality and a minimalistic seo setup as well so we will without wasting time let's get started i have already done my basic laravel setup and created a database for my basic application for this purpose we are going to use a package from a firefly it solution so i will quickly do the installation and then we will get started let me copy this and then i will install the panel and that will be admin i have already done this now let's make let's see do i have a user yes i did specify a cedar yes i do i will use this user instead. now what i can do is i can just go to the url and type admin over here then specify the domain and login so as you can see this is a basic filament setup so now we are going to use this package and i will install it over here as it is installing let's see the other commands that we are going to run okay we will run this command as well let's see what else we need to do so what does this command do it publishes the configurations and migrations for the block okay it has created this blog website which we will go to later on and from here you can publish its uh, views configs components and migrations okay now we will write our migration command which i usually do by specifying the steps then i will also run the storage link command which will link my storage which basically creates a same link now we will go to our code editor and then we will open our admin panel provider and over here above pages or below like wherever you want to let's add our plugins over here okay and then we will also import this i believe the basic setup it's done so let's go to the browser and hit refresh again so as you can see we have a block section with all the necessary or needed data over here and let's add a basic entry and see how will it look like i will just collapse this one so it will look up much bigger let's add a category called education and i will add over here let it be filament and php laravel alp oh, sorry for my spelling alpine then we will also create a post we will start by selecting a category which is basically our single category and then what i will do is i will just open up my blog website and i will open my first blog and we'll start by copying this and creating a post so that's my slug and then i will copy a short description from here as well I will go to the post and paste the description. Then we need to select our tags. Let it be filament, lab, or PHP, or or all. Now we need to specify the body. So let's start from here and end it here. Oh, sorry. And copy and paste. So if I go to like mode. It is much more appeasing. Yeah. 
now i will also go to screenshot no yes i will use my let's make it much bigger click on it and okay this will be our cover photo and the name will will be banner the status will be published and let's create one now as you can see we get an option to create our seo details so i'm going to use the same and then ask for the keywords so you can add whatever you want to this basically appears on let's remove this i will add some genuine ones dev level filament php education and now it wants a description so i don't actually remember some description so i will copy this one which we added previously to sorry over here and hit create now we have a block created so where we can view this which is basically that view part is basically defined in the config that we published previous, previously over here you can see if there is a route prefix called blocks you can copy this and come to the browser i will just duplicate it and add We'll just remove all this and add blocks over here let's see what it looks like yeah you can see we have a finely looking blog with a banner title a short description with who has published it and when when you click on it it gives you error because we have yet not done the other comments configuration so let's open up and documentation again and we will quickly do it let's go to users model and add has block trait over here and then we need to specify a method that this user can comment which you can tweak according to whatever condition you want to now let's go to the browser and hit refresh again now you can see we have our data visible and we also have an option to comment which is basically the, re the reason is because i am logged in over here so whatever the comment that i post will be via admin okay let's add something i loved it and hit post now you won't be able to see any let's see the comment submitted for approval so let's go to admin panel and go to comments over here you can approve it then if you come to the browser again and hit refresh you're able to see the comment that you did similarly you have a settings option so let's go to setting later and over here you have a subscribe newsletter option where you can add whichever email you want to this basic newsletter option which will give you an option to make a user list to whom you can mail your upcoming blogs or any information that you want to now we will create a new setting let's name our if organization name let's do it as Chaco Coder blogs and organization is top coder description will be let's say i will just open this and go to the about section and i will copy this one and then i will paste it over here i won't be specifying the logo because i don't don't have any for the specific height but you can do that if you don't specify a file is too large okay file is large what we can do is i don't know i think i have bigger files that smaller one so let's leave it as well 
and then we can you can also specify the SEOs your Google Analytics and AdSense code over here and then we will add cert some links so what I will do is I will use the same URL to add different links let it be X Instagram my YouTube and hit create once you can see I have created let's go to the front page and hit refresh now you can see I have a title the basic the title that I provided on my panel is now my blog's name and if I go to the bottom you can see the name and the description that I provided with the quick links which when I hover over can be opened you can see now we got this functionality within I think believe 15 to 20 minutes if I search uh, you even have the search functionality as well which can be like let's say I type SCC now you can find the result based on the search keywords that you provided over here you can also filter by category now as you remember we also provided tags so the tags are also filterable from here itself if you click on it you can see that's it for today i believe and we have our basic if you want i can also show you how the seo keywords are being placed in a header so you see the description part you see the description part you see the title part over here and the keywords that you provided in the end panel so I believe the minimalistic SEO is there but yeah it can be tweaked you can change it according to your need by publishing or by extending the classes that are there and I think we are good to go now we have our blog website which we can tweak from our end panel and a view which is basically an SEO configured and ready to deploy Thank you for watching. Bye.